Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we took a trip through the wardrobe, very Narnia-esque, into this place. Which I believe is a boat by the looks of it. So let's see what we are going to find here, if anything. Any other lanyops? We don't want to miss any lanyops. I don't think we can get all the lanyops in this playthrough because... You have to play as Emily as well to get them all. Apparently, anyway, that's what I believe. So, we might do that in the future. We might do that. I don't know. I don't know whether I'd... Okay. Oops. I don't know whether I'd subject you all to uh, watching me play through as Emily as well. But maybe the story's a bit different. I don't know. We might take a break from Alone in the Dark once we've finished Eddie's version. And, um, well, do something else. All right. That says enter hell? What? Okay. What's this? Okay, it's a, okay, it's a weapon. I don't really need another weapon. What have we got here? Another... Oh, Flares! Hey! Okay. And, and, and... Full of flares. Can we not pick up a flare gun? Hey! There you go! Flare gun! Brilliant! Oh, ah... I see. So... Can we only put one flare? Yeah, we can only put one flare in. That's fine. What's in? Oh, this is this is not nice, is it? What's this? Uh, okay. The Greenland Expedition. Ooh. We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such... Fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Hashtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. Wow. A little horrifying. Okay. Oh. So, what's this? Okay. Sallow offering. Hey, lanyap. Another lanyap. We're doing well. We're doing well. So, is that everything here? Okay. So, do we just go wandering out into the into the snow? This seems this seems a little a little foolish. 
and yet here we are, running into it like a maniac. Oh. God, all right, so what have we got here? Bullets, full of flares. Anything else? A lantern. Hey, hey! I don't know what that does for us, but... Well, all right. I mean, Eddie must be cold, man. It looks cold, doesn't it? Are these, like, waypoints? Full of flares. Oh, take that. Oh, okay, cave. What is this? I mean, how, what? Oh. Clearly, uh, an expedition that went a little bit wrong, I think. Okay. Is that bullets? Flares. Uh, okay. Up this way. Oh. Oh, I see. Come on, Eddie. Hey, hey, hey! Brilliant. An ice pick. We'll take that. Fab. What is this? Bloody Stargate! Oh, Stargate SG-1. Remember that? I remember that. Eddie, why are we... Why are we... What are we doing? Oh, you're trawling through the snow, are you? Look at this, man! What is it? Oh, this is... Oh, who's that? Who are you? I kind of feel like I should maybe switch to the pistol. Can we not switch to the pistol? No? Ah, there you go. Let's reload, just in case. This looks... this looks iffy. Grab these, whatever they are. Bullets. Oh, God. Bloody hell. At least we know they're there if we need them. Anything this way? Hey! More oh, machine gun cartridge. Okay. This, this, this looks kind of. Who is this dude? Hey, you! What are you doing here? What is this place? Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Yeah. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, what the hell? God, what the hell, man? Jeez, Louise! Let's um, let's just reload. Pick up these bullets over here, because we can do now. What the hell? Seriously? Stellarium? Ha! Huh, these tire going nuts. Is there anything over here? Take that. What about up this way? Nothing. Okay. Always wise to check, folks, because you never know. These devs are sneaky. <laughs> they hide things. They hide things from us. Okay. Well. What is this? This reminds me of the Dwemer Cube. In um, in in. In um, Star, Star, in Skyrim. Good God! 
Can we use the... Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. So we have to rotate these, do we? Ah, uh, of course. The Taurus. I figured you wouldn't want your stars aligned, Jeremy, or uh, maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours. Yeah. Well. Okay, and then this one. Uh, it'd be this way, wouldn't it? Bam! We freaking did it, baby! So, now the stars are aligned. Do we have to go to the middle? Whoa. No? Maybe we haven't done it. Um, is that not it? No. I mean, they're all lit. I think I think we did it. There you go. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Oh, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no. Do we have to do we have to kill this thing? For God's sake, stay dead, will you? Alright. Oh, Eddie, please. <laughs> Through the house, through the through everything. Oh. What the hell is this thing? Jeremy. Oh my god. <laughs> I did everything! Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan! What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh my lord! Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! Jesus. What were you thinking, Compad? What the hell? 
the hell? What? So... The... Hmm... What in the world is going on? Oh, here's Grace. You're awake? You are awake! <laughs> Mr. Conby's up! Hey, buddy! I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night! <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you are being violent, you see. You stabbed Jeremy, and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? No. All thanks to you, Compat. You want to try standing up? Something's way off here. Why was Dr. Gray dressed as the, the, the dark well, man? If it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? Yeah. No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. Oh, God. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Hmm. I don't believe it. There's the answer. Don't believe a word. Don't believe a word of it. All right, let's have a look. Your map is of no use here. Um. Everything was back to normal. Did any of it really happen? What had Conby actually been doing all night? Something just isn't right, is it? Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. Yeah. Nothing to say? No? Anything for you to say? That is one impressive tree. Uh-huh. More impressive than you could ever imagine. We made a wish at that tree. Wait for Miss Hartwood. No. No, no. No, no. We're going to have a look around. Gracie, you got anything to say, Gil? Hey, kid. What are you up to? Yeah. Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. Who is... who... what? Who is mother? Didn't think your mother was here. We made the offering. What? What, what does that mean? I wonder. Can we go anywhere else or are we just confined to here? No, nope, can't go that way. Can we go out? Can't go out. Batiste, you got anything to say, mate? What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for the storm. Radio says it could be a wild one. Hmm. Something's just wrong here, isn't it? Something's just way, way, way off. Oh, hello. Why have you got a weird mask on? Hey, Ruth. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad.
we can't go in any of these, I don't think, can we? No. This is just... Something's off. Something's way off here. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. All right. Well, can we can we go back in here? No, it's locked. God bless it. All right. Well, I guess we've no other choice but to wait for Emily then. I don't know. I don't know. Something's just. Wait. What's this? Oh, we didn't talk to. Oh, sorry. I didn't really, I didn't to say. All right. Tell me what the hell's about to happen here. Yeah. Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol. It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. Mm. Enlightening, I'm sure. All right, well, let's wait for Emily then. We've no other choice. Everyone knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Oh, there are praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear there are praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Take pity on us. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Take pity on us. And take pity on us. Ever there are praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Yeah. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? God! Are you crazy? What the hell? It needs to happen, Carpenter. Grace, stop! Oh! Oh! Emily! Oh! Detective, get my uncle out of here! No, Emily. I get it now. She needed me to break the pact. She needed me to bring her grace. I did everything for her. Okay, I didn't know I it do that. I just realized I belong here! I'm one of her young! What are you saying? <laughs> You'll have to run, Emily. What the hell? You'll have to run! Okay, I don't like this. What the hell? What the hell did that do? Okay, maybe we shouldn't have maybe we shouldn't have gone with the quick time event. <laughs> okay, why? Why is Ruth in here? What was that?
Join a cult. I joined a cult. Oh my god, is this real life? Oh! I see. So, so I wonder what would have happened if we'd have gone with not the quick time event, done something else. Um, should we have a look? Let's have a look. Okay, we're not going to follow this now. We'll just leave it Detective, and see what happens. Get my uncle out of here. Okay. Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. What the hell? Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. No, there has to be a death Okay, so the tree is alive. What the hell? Okay, that's yeah. Jeremy, come on. Oh, 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 God, this is. That's very Lovecraftian. And gross. Stop the black goat of the woods? How? How do we how do we how do we stop this thing? I can't let that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it. Okay. How do we how do we Where do we this Oh my god, Ruth. Oh how awful. Can we not go that way? How do we get out? What is that thing? Like the tree just, just came to life. Okay, what's 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 this? Bullets? Hey, I'll always take bullets. Oh, it's loud. We go here? Okay. Leading us up to something here. Whole place is trashed. Oh yeah, this is this is not gonna be um good, is it? Let's check there's nothing else. I don't think there is. Don't like it. Okay. Okay, alright. Oh there it is. Oh god. Oh um what the hell? What the hell is that? Alright. We need to just yep. I don't know whether that's doing anything or what. Okay. Oh wait, do we have to maybe shoot that? Oh. oh god, we need to drink some of this. Is it that on top of its head, I suppose? Let's let's switch to something a little bit more precise. Switch, Eddie, switch. That's the boy. Ah, there you go. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh no! What? Okay. What are we? What are we? Really? Really?
Good God! Whoa! Did we did we do it? Did we kill it? Is it dead? Oh, I hope it's dead. Eddie's not good. Detective. Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. Oh, that's Grace. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything. But I'm not mad. Well... Okay. Alright, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Yeah. Don't leave her. She's important. <laughs> of course we're taking her with us. Yeah, we won't leave her behind. She's a kid. Yay, Come on. I'm important. Jesus. My God. I tell you, folks, that last fight took me so many attempts. It was so hard. But we did it in the end. We did it. Thank God. Ugh. How weird, though. I mean, it, like a monster in a tree. Save New Orleans from the Black Goat, which we did. Case closed. Look at that. Well, there you go, folks. That's both the endings now that you've seen from Eddie's side anyway. What we may do is, like I say, we might take a little break from Alone in the Dark. And then we'll come back and play Emily's side another time. Just to sort of break it up a little bit. Because... I imagine that there are other games out there. We'll just turn that off. Other horror games out there that you would like to see and that I would like to play as well. Although Alone in the Dark has been phenomenal. I really enjoyed it. It was a really interesting story. It really kept me going. And I always looked forward to, to playing it and to filming episodes for you all because it was just really good, really enjoyable. But until next time... Be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves. <laughs>